Hello and welcome everyone. This is Kaylin's English Podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on italki. Today I'm going to talk about being in limbo. If you have listened to one of my previous episodes, then you have learned that my future lies in Japan. In this episode, I'm going to update you with what has been going on. Back at the beginning of August, my husband and I submitted for visas to live in Japan, as he received a new job there. We filled out all of the paperwork and got our passport size photos taken. Then he submitted the paperwork to his new employer, who sent it off to be processed by the Japanese government. While we were waiting to start the next stage, we had to give notice to our landlord that we were going to need to end our tenancy. We did not give her an exact date straight away, as we did not know when we could move. However, we had the impression that it would not take long to get our visas, as my husband's new employer said it does not take long. Our landlord pressed us for a date, which is understandable because no landlord wants their property to not have a tenant for any amount of time. We gave her two months' notice, as, like I said, we had the impression that it would not take long to process our visas. It took about a month and a half to finally receive the paperwork that we would need to move on to the next stage, which was the COE. COE stands for Certificate of Eligibility. We received this certificate near the end of September. Once we received our COE, we needed to fill out more paperwork and make an appointment at the Japanese Embassy. We got this all completed within a week, as we could not get to the Embassy on Friday, and that Monday was a holiday in Japan, so it was closed. The Sunday after our appointment, we had to move out of our apartment. Ever since then, we have been in limbo. We stayed one night in Norwich as we could not take a train to London because they were doing maintenance on the train lines. We spent two nights in London near Buckingham Palace and Hyde Park. Then we went to Southampton for three nights. Southampton is the port city in England that houses cargo ships and cruise ships. We went to Southampton because we arrived there nine years ago on board Cunard's Queen Mary II. And never explored the city. Queen Mary 2 is a cruise ship that does a transatlantic crossing from New York to Southampton, and we used it to move to England. While we were there, we got to see the cruise ship once more, as it was docked there. It was great to see the amazing ship once more. We had some great memories on board and met great people. I wish I could sail on it once more sometime soon. We are now back towards London in a place close to Gatwick Airport. It is a small city, but the Airbnb that we have rented is nice and spacious. It has two bedrooms, and one of them is set up as an office. Thus, it is easy for my husband and I to work without disturbing each other. We leave here in a few days. We have an idea where we may go next, but we are in limbo and have no idea when we will get our permission to move to Japan. It is a difficult situation to be in as we are technically homeless. And moving to temporary home to temporary home isn't as fun as it seems. We don't know what could happen next and how long we can stay in one place. It is nice to explore areas that we have never been before, but it is difficult for me to make a teaching schedule to continue making money, as I don't want to have to ask students to reschedule lessons. It feels like I would be messing with them, and it is quite a process to reschedule a lesson on the platform I teach on. This time has given me the opportunity to try new things. I do wish it would end soon as I really want to get back to normality with my work that I enjoy and be in a place once more that I can call my home. I must say that I'm sorry that some of these recent podcasts have been late as I have been moving around a bit. I'm sorry if some future episodes are late as well. I'm in a bit of a rut currently, both creatively and literally. I am in the process of finding a new way to run my podcast, and I would greatly appreciate if you could leave a comment. As to what you would love to hear in, to practice your English listening skills. What type of topics do you want me to cover? Please ask me questions and I can answer them within episodes and even give you a shout out for asking the question. You can pretty much ask me anything and I will do my best to give you a good, honest answer. You may send me your questions via social media at Kaylin underscore teacher. I hope to hear from you soon. I also hope that none of you are in limbo like I am. It is no fun. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time, bye!